Throughout the history of science, individuals have sought to understand how the universe began. The most widely accepted explanation has been what many refer to as the Big Bang Theory, a concept that suggests the universe originated from an extremely dense and hot point. Over time, numerous experts have contributed evidence supporting this idea. However, as science progresses and new technologies emerge, fresh ideas and perspectives challenge long-held assumptions. One such breakthrough comes from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, which has captured images of over 750 previously unknown galaxies. These findings are reshaping our understanding of the universe's origins, calling into question the accuracy of the Big Bang Theory. The telescope was designed to help scientists understand how galaxies formed and evolved, but its discoveries have revealed galaxies that are smaller, smoother, older, and more varied than what the Big Bang Theory predicts. According to the theory, galaxies should appear larger the farther away they are, as the universe continues to expand, yet these newly discovered galaxies defy this expectation. The Big Bang Theory posits that the universe began from a tiny, super-dense point known as a singularity, which was incredibly hot and composed of all the matter and energy that would later form stars, galaxies, and other cosmic structures. This theory is rooted in Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. It explains that in the universe's early moments, all matter was compressed into an infinitesimally small space, creating an environment of extreme heat and density. For many years, scientists believed this explanation provided the answer to the origin of the universe. However, new data from the JWST is now forcing scientists to reconsider aspects of this theory. The photographs from the JWST challenge the traditional view in several ways. For one, the galaxies it has discovered are older and more diverse than expected. They also appear far smoother than what the theory predicts. According to the Big Bang Theory, galaxies should have visible irregularities, resulting from their formation and growth over time, but these observations suggest a different cosmic history. Additionally, the distribution of galaxies discovered by the JWST doesn't align with the predictions of the Big Bang, which anticipated galaxies to be less abundant in the distant past. The theory also predicted that galaxies would grow through collisions and mergers, with the universe's expansion leading to a chaotic, violent cosmic environment. Yet, the images from the JWST show galaxies that are more orderly, with fewer signs of disruption or violent collisions. These observations suggest that something about our understanding of how galaxies formed and evolved is incomplete. Despite these challenges, the Big Bang Theory remains well-supported by a wealth of evidence. For instance, the observed redshift in the light from distant galaxies, the distribution of elements like hydrogen and helium, and the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation all provide strong support for the theory. The CMB, discovered in 1965, is a faint radiation that permeates the universe and is considered the afterglow of the Big Bang. Its uniformity and temperature distribution strongly suggest that the universe once existed in an incredibly hot, dense state before expanding and cooling over billions of years. However, the findings of the JWST are forcing scientists to reassess certain aspects of the theory. For example, the discovery of galaxies that appear to have formed much earlier than previously thought challenges the idea that galaxies should only have started forming after a certain period following the Big Bang. The telescope's images show galaxies that seem to be much larger and more developed than expected, especially at redshifts greater than 10, suggesting that these galaxies could have formed much earlier than the theory predicted. These discrepancies have led some scientists to propose alternative models of the universe's origin, such as the cyclic universe model which suggests that the universe undergoes an infinite series of expansions and contractions. While these new theories present their own challenges, they offer intriguing possibilities for explaining the unexpected findings of the JWST. In addition, the JWST's high-resolution images provide unprecedented detail on the formation of stars and planetary systems. By studying the light from distant stars and the surrounding gas and dust, Astronomers can gain insights into the processes that govern star formation and the emergence of potentially habitable environments. This information is crucial for understanding how conditions necessary for life might arise elsewhere in the universe. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided a wealth of new data that is reshaping our understanding of the universe's history.
While the Big Bang theory remains a strong and well-supported model, these new discoveries challenge some of its key assumptions. As scientists continue to analyze the data from the JWST, they may be forced to revise our cosmic history and consider new theories to explain the unexpected complexities of the early universe. This ongoing research exemplifies the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry, where new evidence constantly pushes the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. The discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are not just a challenge to the Big Bang Theory, but they also open new avenues for understanding the universe's development, formation of galaxies, and the overall nature of cosmology. The data collected by JWST provides an unprecedented opportunity to re-examine the very foundations of astrophysics, cosmology, and our place in the cosmos. This extended exploration delves deeper into the implications of these discoveries, how they challenge existing models, and how scientists are responding to these new realities. The James Webb Space Telescope, a new window to the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched on December 25, 2021, is the most powerful space telescope ever built, a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. Unlike Hubble, which primarily captures visible and ultraviolet light, JWST is optimized for infrared observations. This is a key difference because infrared light can pass through dust clouds that obscure much of the visible light in space, allowing JWST to peer into regions of the universe that were previously hidden from our view. JWST's resolution and sensitivity are far superior to anything that has come before. Its advanced optics and instruments are designed to study the formation of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems in unparalleled detail. This makes it possible to study not just the current state of the universe but also its early history, potentially offering new insights into how galaxies, stars, and planets formed. With this in mind, the telescope is able to observe galaxies at distances so great that their light has taken billions of years to reach Earth, effectively looking back in time. One of JWST's major goals is to study the epoch of reionization, a period in the early universe that occurred around 400 million years after the Big Bang. During this time, the first stars and galaxies formed, and the universe began to transition from being opaque to transparent as light from these stars ionized the surrounding hydrogen gas. By observing this epoch, JWST can provide crucial information about the conditions that led to the formation of the first galaxies, and more importantly, it can offer clues about how the early universe evolved into the structured and complex universe we observe today. New Findings and Their Challenges to the Big Bang Theory The Big Bang Theory has been the dominant model explaining the origin and evolution of the universe for decades. According to this theory, the universe started from an infinitely dense point, called a singularity. Approximately 13.7 billion years ago, followed by rapid expansion, known as the Big Bang, this event set the stage for the cooling and formation of matter, which eventually coalesced into stars, galaxies, and the complex structures we observe in the universe today. For many years, the Big Bang theory was thought to have a robust framework. This was supported by several key observations. The discovery of cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation, the distribution of galaxies across the universe, the redshift of light from distant galaxies, and the relative abundance of light elements like hydrogen and helium. However, the data collected by JWST suggests that the early universe may have been more complex and developed differently than previously thought. For instance, the JWST has found galaxies that appear to have formed much earlier than expected, some just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This contradicts previous models that suggested galaxies took longer to form. Furthermore, many of the newly observed galaxies appear to be more developed than expected for their age. They have larger structures, more mature star populations, and more intricate features than the Big Bang Theory would predict for galaxies in such an early state. These findings are pushing cosmologists to reconsider the timeline of galaxy formation and evolution. If galaxies form so early and so fully developed, what does this say about the rate at which the universe cooled and developed after the Big Bang? Was the rate of expansion faster than previously believed? Could there have been additional mechanisms, such as interactions between dark matter, dark energy, and ordinary matter, that we have not yet accounted for? The theory of cosmic inflation, a still valid but incomplete explanation? One of the key components of the Big Bang theory is the idea of cosmic inflation 
This theory suggests that during the first few moments after the Big Bang, the universe expanded at an incredibly rapid rate, far faster than the speed of light. This inflationary period is thought to have smoothed out any irregularities and set the stage for the more gradual expansion that followed. Inflation explains why the universe appears so homogeneous and isotropic on large scales today. It also provides an explanation for why distant regions of the universe have similar physical properties, despite being separated by vast distances. However, inflationary theory itself remains incomplete. While it successfully accounts for the uniformity of the universe, it doesn't address the detailed formation of galaxies or explain how the initial density fluctuations that would later become galaxies and clusters of galaxies emerged. These fluctuations are crucial to understanding the structure of the universe. JWST's observations have found that some of the earliest galaxies exhibit features that defy the predictions of cosmic inflation. For example, many of the galaxies discovered appear to have formed much earlier and more fully developed than inflationary models would suggest. This discrepancy between the theory of inflation and the actual observations from JWST leads some scientists to question whether inflation itself is the entire story. Could there have been another mechanism that triggered or accelerated the formation of galaxies in the early universe? One possible explanation could be the interaction between dark matter and normal matter in the universe's infancy. Dark matter is thought to make up around 27% of the universe's mass energy content, but it interacts primarily through gravity and not through electromagnetic forces. Its presence would have influenced the distribution of galaxies by acting as a gravitational scaffold around which galaxies could form. However, understanding the specific role of dark matter in early galaxy formation remains a major challenge. Dark matter and dark energy, hidden forces behind galaxy formation, while JWST has made significant strides in providing more clarity about the formation of galaxies, it has also highlighted the limitations of our current understanding of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, which does not emit or interact with electromagnetic radiation, has been indirectly observed through its gravitational effects on galaxies and galaxy clusters. Dark energy, on the other hand, is thought to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. One intriguing possibility is that the large, complex galaxies observed by JWST may have formed due to interactions between dark matter and dark energy. While we have a good sense of dark matter's gravitational effects, its interaction with regular matter and dark energy remains poorly understood. The JWST data, which shows galaxies that appear to have formed earlier and more fully than expected, may point to new interactions between dark matter, dark energy, and ordinary matter. It is possible that dark energy could have accelerated galaxy formation in ways we haven't fully modeled yet. Reassessing the Timeline of Galaxy Formation The JWST's ability to look further back in time than ever before has brought into question the timeline for galaxy formation in the early universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, galaxies should not have formed until several hundred million years after the Big Bang, when the universe had cooled sufficiently for matter to clump together and form stars. However, JWST has observed galaxies forming as early as a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, and these galaxies appear to be more mature than previously thought. One significant discovery is that some of these galaxies seem to have already formed massive structures, complete with star clusters, complex spiral features, and even signs of galactic mergers, all before the universe was 500 million years old. This challenges the traditional understanding of galaxy formation, which assumes that galaxies gradually evolved from smaller clumps of gas and dust. These findings imply that either the rate of galaxy formation was much faster than expected, or that some other mechanism, potentially involving dark matter or dark energy, contributed to an accelerated process of galaxy growth. The implications of these findings could extend to the nature of cosmic reionization, a period when the universe transitioned from being opaque to transparent. The early galaxies observed by JWST may have played a more significant role in this process than previously believed, as they could have contributed to the ionization of surrounding hydrogen gas earlier in the universe's history. This could mean that the reionization period occurred much earlier than anticipated, potentially altering the models of how the universe transitioned from the cosmic dark ages to the more structured and luminous universe we see today. The cyclic universe model, a possible alternative? Given the unexpected findings of the JWST, 
some cosmologists are beginning to reconsider alternative models to the Big Bang theory. One such model is the cyclic universe theory, which suggests that the universe undergoes an infinite series of expansions and contractions. According to this theory, the universe doesn't have a singular beginning or end but instead continually cycles through phases of expansion and collapse. The cyclic universe theory has gained attention due to its potential to address some of the contradictions in the Big Bang model, particularly the challenges posed by the discovery of galaxies that seem to have formed earlier than expected. If the universe has undergone previous cycles of expansion and contraction, it's possible that some of these early galaxies were the remnants of a previous cosmic era, not necessarily formed from the Big Bang itself. While this idea is still speculative and faces several challenges of its own, it offers an intriguing alternative to the Big Bang theory. The cyclic model could provide a new perspective on how galaxies, stars, and other structures could have emerged in the early universe, and it may help explain the unexpected findings from JWST.